most exciting part of the general manager's report. Ms. Dukes. <clears throat> Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Good evening, Commissioners. Um, we had a fantastic turnout for the Special Olympics on Saturday at both Quiet Pines and Freedom Park. We had employee volunteers, many of our department heads that were there at Quiet Pines. Um, Ms. Thrasher and her team there did a phenomenal job. We got really good comments from all of the visiting families. Um, we had people from across the state that came there with their Special Olympians to play golf. Uh, same at Freedom Park and Lowndes County Fire Rescue under Chief Young's leadership provided the medical assistance that were needed at both locations for those events. So we had um, a, a fantastic showing on Saturday that I'm certainly proud of and I know that you will be too. We also had 330 of our employees at our health fair last Thursday. Um, HR did a phenomenal job laying that out. Um, Mr. Beals is here, his team, they were amazing. It was one of the biggest turnouts that we had. And we gave up our space at the Civic Center for FEMA's Disaster Recovery Center. So the issue helped us out with the Magnolia Room and we were able to host it there. It was seamless and we're very appreciative of the issue for their partnership there as well. Um, October 1st kicked off Fire Prevention Month. Cooking safety starts with you. Pay attention to fire prevention. Um, that is our, our theme this year for 2023. Lowndes County Fire Rescue will see thousands of school children and others through the month of October um, for this initiative. And I know that you all remember Stop, Drop, and Roll, so it sticks and, and what they're doing there matters. So we're appreciative to Chief Young and, and his team as well as Chief Williams for all their work there. Um, do not forget we have the Project Forage announcement tomorrow. The reception is 11 a.m. at the Mackey just across the street. Um, we have our annual river cleanup scheduled for October the 20th at 10 a.m. If you remember, this meet, meets our MPDES stormwater requirements. Um, since Public Works has had our boat ramps on the schedule for the last two years, we do not have the litter issues at our boat ramps that we have had in the past. We've asked the state if we could move to a different type of awareness event, um, and they have not um, seen that to be a good idea. So we will continue with our river cleanup so that we meet um, those regulatories, but we will do that with our employees, any citizens that would like to participate, and we're going to do that on Friday since Saturdays are so busy right now. Um, invitations are in the mail for the historic courthouse ribbon cutting, which is scheduled for October the 25th at 10 a.m. Uh, Mr. McLeod is um, doing the, the final punch list and walkthrough and working with the contractor there. Everything's on schedule and looking really good. If any of you would like to see it prior to, just please let me know and we'll get you in over there. And then One Bell Austin Lounge is in the process of choosing a capital, cam capital campaign consultant. That's really the next step, and I'm on the committee for that selection. We held our meetings here at the end of the week last year, or last week, so as we move forward in that process, I'll let you know um, where we are. And then you have before you a Lounge grantee snapshot. This is the end of the year report for July 2022 to June 2023 for our Juvenile Justice Incentive Grant. Um, this is the program, the Functional Family Therapy Program, where the counselors actually go into the homes and work with the entire family, not just with the children they've offended. Out of 54 youth from Lowndes County that were enrolled in the FS based program, um, we had a success rate, a completion rate of 89%, which is tremendous. But there's also some other demographics on this fact sheet that I think are very eye opening that we can discuss at a later date if you all would like to. Um, but again, um, many thanks goes to Mr. Ty for his assistance where Judge Council is concerned in managing these grants. So thank you, Ashley, along with everything else that you're that you're doing. You're managing to pull off an 89% success rate with the Functional Family Therapy, so thank you for that. Um, and with that, that concludes my report, Mr. Chairman. Other than today is Commissioner Weisenbaker's birthday. Oh, wow. so happy birthday, Commissioner Weisenbaker. Happy Baker. birthday. Good. Where's the cake? You got cake? Ice cream? Couldn't make one big enough. Couldn't make one big enough. <laughs>